first um, go around ever with the iPad, and I did something wrong. So forget that. <laughs> you were gonna hear a Christmas song, but there's 18,000 words, and I can't remember. So I'm gonna fall back on an old standard that I hope is appropriate. Appropriate enough. <laughs> um, you know, people ask us songwriters that, that do this for a living how we get our ideas, and a lot of it's from pop culture and TV and all that. And um, through watching TV a few years ago with Britney Spears and all of her stuff, you know, she's on everything <laughs> and then making them nervous. So yeah. but everything all the time. Because of what? Because she sings? No, because she does silly stuff and gets into tabloids, right? So. I mean, they saw all this stuff happen. So, so uh, some friends of mine and I had a writing session one day, and I mentioned all that, and, and we decided to write this song. It's called, How Am I Going to Get You to Notice Me? How am I going to get you to notice me? I'm not quite the superstar I think I should be. Like a zillion out of records to be released next week. So how am I gonna get you to notice me? Well, I could pop out my left breast at the Super Bowl. Stick my wet tongue down Madonna's throat. Run off to Las Vegas and get married for an hour. Let the TV crew follow me into the shower. Oh, how am I going to get you to notice me? I ain't quite the megastar that I used to be. My gazillion dollar records do be released next week. So how am I going to get you to notice me? Maybe I could write myself a classic song and 40 years from now still be going strong Work my way up to the top without acting like a jerk Just be my charming self No, that never work thing about this song is that it never ends. There's always new material to choose from. Who can guess what I'm about to sing about? You guys, I bet. Well, my fickle tween fans have all come of age. So I twerk on Robin Thicke. I mean, That I'm all grown up. They'll be so impressed every time I stick out my tongue. Oh, how am I going to get you? I'm not quite the superstar Dad thinks I should be. Not a zillion dollar records do be released next week. So how am I going to get you to notice me? <laughs> Unfortunately, this last verse is autobiographical. <laughs> if that's a word. Well, I've been psychoanalyzed by the best. Seems my lack of self-esteem is just a consequence. Years and years of hearing about everything I'm not. And it's left me desperately needing your
Now y'all just enabled him. <laughs> Not help. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I was gonna do Santa Claus is coming to town. So I showed Tim from my fancy new uh, app and left it on the wrong song. Yeah, uh-oh. So that's what you got instead. <laughs> Tell me you're not complaining about your device, though. No, it's really cool. Because, you know, I heard when the whole new iPhone iOS deal came out, people were going, I hate this thing, it goes so slow and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going, don't you realize you're living in the future? <laughs> like, that thing you're holding in your hand is what we were looking at on Star Trek, like, you know, 20 years ago. <laughs> So I don't complain about my slow iPhone. <laughs> Mine is uh, admittedly user error, not that. You're a dude and you can admit that. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to go next? Because I don't want to follow that. I don't want to follow that. <laughs> that is not cool. It's I, your turn. I'm so so <laughs> Than me, than <laughs> That's how that works. So in, in Jim's introduction, he was telling me a little bit about